So the regular meeting of the Central Berkshire Regional School District on Thursday, March 12th, thank you, will now come to order at 745. Sorry for the delay. This meeting is being audio and videotaped, and if anybody in the audience is doing so, please let me know. If not, all who are able, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Superintendent, would you please take roll? Mr. Alpert. Here. Mr. Bartels. Here. Mr. DeFazio. Here. Mr. Emerson. Here. Ms. Galusha. Here. Ms. Latizori. Here. Mr. Peters. Here. Mrs. Tucker. Here. Mr. Wagner. Here. Dr. Preferees. Here. We have a quorum. Did you get these two jobs? Oh, our... Oh, Bonnie. Bonnie and Bonnie. Oh, Bonnie. Ms. DiSpasso. Yes. Hi, Ms. DiSpasso is with I'm us. I'm here. Mr. Case. Michael. Uh, aloha. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, welcome to the meeting. We have a quorum. Okay, the chair certifies that this is the right agenda. Are there any responses from the audience at this time? Okay. Um, I just wondered whether we could move up the budget presentation because Bonnie and Mike are on the line and it would be great for them not to have to sit through the whole meeting. Is that okay with everybody? Yes. Sure. Okay. So take it away. Um, so I have two handouts tonight and there was it's just a small correction in the document that was sent out on Friday. It's actually on the very last page for the capital budget. It does not change the overall value, mm -hmm. but with that change before the tentative with the um, October 1 numbers, some of the, you'd be kind of finicky with the formulas, so sometimes they're a dollar off. It did not change the overall number for the tenants. So if you received a packet, you get the one piece of paper, but if you have not received a packet, here's the whole budget for your uh, binder. So I'll pass these, I can pass these around now, or you can grab them before you leave. Either one. Does anybody want it now? That is it does not change overall. Can I will I say that again. For, I, what? May I have one, please? Yeah. Okay, thank you. you want to um, so we'll get started. So um, very few things have changed with this budget. There is a slight decrease in this budget, and we'll explain why. Um, but the um, additions in terms of our registered behavior technicians that we spoke about um, remain in the budget. We've, monitored, we've maintained all our instructional programming, and we do feel that it's become even more fiscally responsible. Um, <laughs> we don't have a dance. We almost had a dance. <laughs> the, um, the, um, so the changes, again, you see uh, two additional expenses um, being moved into um, technology. We did have two renewals in terms of curriculum programs we had to build in um, and a small increase for mileage. Um, and then we did have a decrease. So this resulted in an overall decrease of about 17000 about 17,000. Um, the decrease that we had that I, I, I told you I thought would come to fruition um, and um, has here is that we did have a retiree and we do have um, a situation where we are um, going to be transferring a staff member because we have a reduction in need um, and we have somebody filling a position um, for the, that's not, I'm not explaining that well. So basically we had a retiree, we're filling that position internally and we ultimately are going down by um, that person's position and someone will be transferred to fill it. So that resulted in an overall decrease of about 17,000. Is that accurate? It is. Yes. So again, it's just been a small decrease based on that staffing restructure. Um, and we now have a 1.53% increase um, and year over year variance of 423,000. This slide has not changed at all except for the assessments piece. The revenues I'm still anticipating to be right around this, this mark. This page is the expenditures um, by program area. This is where you'll see those decreases or the increases. Um, these two are the increases with technology and with the uh, um, prepaid miles. These three are what align with the transfer and the, the filling of the replacement. This slide has no changes, but then you will see the 17.9 um, decrease overall. 
these have not changed, or they've changed slightly, but overall still 75% of our budget is still salaries and benefits. Um, this is the town's operating assessments for FY21. Um, we are right now at a total variance of 2.49 over last year. So we were at 2.6 for the tentative. Those still range from like negative 12 to about 6.8 town by town. And then this is, these are the um, final capital budget, budget assessments. This slide has not changed, like I said. It's, it was just individual projects that have changed. But overall, for each town, it's still the same amount overall. <laughs> You've already seen this uh, multiple uh, times. We've so seen, seen, it, we've seen it, yes. But okay. if there are any questions from more than one. Any questions? Okay. Bonnie, are you there? I am. Are you prepared to read? Um, I, I'm going to read. Rick oh, Wagner Rick is, is going to read. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you, do you want the minutes from the uh, actual finance meeting? Or no, we're just we going to do the, yeah, We'll right. do that later. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Okay, final fiscal year 2021 gross salaries and benefits adoption. Whereas the Central Berkshire Regional School Committee on February 27, 2020, adopted a tentative gross salaries, contractual salary increases for all employees and active employees insurance benefits budget for the school year 2020 through 21 okay. in the amount of $18,764,860. Therefore, be it resolved that Central Berkshire Regional School Committee adopts the final gross salaries contractual salary increases for all employees and active employees insurance benefit budget for the school year 2020 through 21 in the amount of $18,730,791 as by the finance committee. So we need a second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Oh, we have so to do since, since we are oh. doing a phone call, they have to be all roll calls, unfortunately. Okay, roll call. Mr. Alpert? Aye. <laughs> Mr. Bartels? Yes. Mr. Case? Yes. Mr. DeFazio? Yes. Ms. DiTomaso? Yes. Mr. Emerson? Yes. Ms. Galusha? Yes. Ms. Latizori? Yes. Mr. Peters? Yes. Mrs. Tucker? Yes. Mr. Wagner? Yes. Dr. Kraft Reese? Yes. It passes. Okay, thank you, Bonnie, no, and thank you. We, we have a couple oh. more. We have more to go. <laughs> I am so ready for them to vacation for me. <laughs> Three more. Thank Benef you for trying. <laughs> Retirees benefits adoption. Whereas the Central Regional School Committee on February 27, 2020, adopted a tentative retiree's health insurance benefits budget for the school year 2020 through 21 in the amount of $2,036,000 $538. Therefore, be it resolved that Central Berkshire Regional School Committee adopts a final retiree's health insurance benefits budget for the school year 2020 through 21 in the amount of $2,036,538 as recommended by the Finance Subcommittee. Second. Second. We have a motion and a second. And any discussion? Okay, roll call. Mr. Albert? Yes. Mr. Bartels? Yes. Mr. Case? Yes. Mr. DeFazio? Yes. Ms. DiTomaso? Yes. Mr. Emerson? Yes. Ms. Galusha? Yes. Ms. Latizori? Yes. Mr. Peters? Yes. Mrs. Tucker? Yes. Mr. Wagner? Yes. And Dr. Crafferies? Yes. It passes. Okay, operating budget adoption. Whereas Central Berkshire Regional School Committee on February 27th, 2020 adopted a tentative gross operating budget for the school year 2020 through 21 in the amount of $28,075,910. Therefore, be it resolved that the Central Berkshire Regional School Committee adopts a final gross operating budget for the school year 2020 through 21 in the amount of $28,057,000. $941 as recommended by the Finance Subcommittee. Be it further resolved that Central Berkshire Regional School Committee adopts a final anticipated revenue 
for fiscal year 2021 in the amount of $28,057,941 as recommended by the Finance Committee. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, let's do the roll call. Mr. Alpert? Yes. Mr. Bartels? Yes. Mr. Case? Yes. Mr. DeFazio? Yes. Ms. DiTomaso? Yes. Mr. Emerson? Yes. Ms. Scalusha? Yes. Ms. Mrs. Lazzari? Yes. Mr. Peters? Yes. Mrs. Tucker? Yes. Mr. Wagner? Yes. Dr. Kraft Reese? Yes. It passes. Okay, the final one is the capital budget adoption. Be it resolved that the Central Berkshire Regional School Committee adopts the final capital budget for the school year 20 through 21 in the amount of $2,229,937 as recommended by the Finance Subcommittee. Second. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Okay, roll call. Mr. Alpert? Yes. Mr. Bartels? Yes. Mr. Case? Yes. Mr. DeFazio? Yes. Ms. DiTomaso? Yes. Ms. Mr. Emerson? Yes. Ms. Galusha? Yes. Mrs. Latizori? Yes. Mr. Peters? Yes. Mrs. Tucker? Yes. Mr. Wagner? Yes. Dr. Kraft Reese? Yes. And it passes. Okay. We have a budget. Can say thank you now? Yes. <laughs> okay. You're done, Bonnie and Mike. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was our pleasure. Enjoy your vacations. You're most welcome. Stay. It's almost my side time. Okay, well, stay healthy, okay? Keep washing your hands. Yes. <laughs> That's right. All right, thanks. Bye, guys. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So we're going back now to student affairs. Shane? <laughs> Um, so on Friday, our sophomore class put on a neon dance, which they raised $1,000 to give to the Berkshire Humane Society. Oh, cool. And they also collected pet supplies to give. Um, the other night, we had a college planning night for the junior class, which had a relatively nice showing. Uh, our AP Biology class is making informational posters about the coronavirus which, oddly enough, matches up with our curriculum at the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, students taking any AP science classes took their practice test last Friday and are awaiting results. Uh, there was a blood drive put on by BMC yesterday. Uh, prom committee held a meeting this week discussing the theme of prom and decided on a rustic theme, and we still have a name pending for it. <laughs> Uh, mock trial put on an amazing, put in an amazing amount of effort, but sadly lost the regionals competition by six points. Mm. Cheerleading has won states. Uh, Wakona bowling has come in second at states. Uh, basketball intramurals ended with McLaughlin's Austin Rockin Squadron winning the tournament. <laughs> and spring so sports signups have started as students are anxiously awaiting tryouts. So. Thank you so much, Shane. Uh, secretary's report. Will someone please make a motion to approve the minutes of February 27? So moved. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion is carried. Okay, financial warrants. Two of the same, I thought maybe. Just one. There's just one. <laughs> I was checking to see if they're the same. Okay. Um, motion to approve warrant number PR 2020 17, dated February 20th, 2020. In payroll in the amount of $643,703.39. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Thank you. Motion to approve warrant number PR 2020-17D dated February 20th, 2020. 
accounts payable from agency accounts in the amount of $245,381.58. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. aye. Oh. What? Well, these, I believe, are the last boards. Hold on one second. I'm just looking at the dates. Oh, it says oh, February 27th on the top. Yeah. yeah, you're right, because there was one dated March 14th. Okay. Okay, we, we approved them again. <laughs> there we go. Yes, we did. We just we just like saying 20, 20, 20. Yeah, really. <laughs> Very good. 2, 20, 20, 20. I think they were just printed out wrong. That's not me. Um, <laughs> That's right. Um, oh. Debbie, I'm kidding. Um, Debbie, I just don't know how a passcode to oh, print. Is it this, Craig? I can print it. Is that it? Yes. Oh, it was it? E oh, it was emailed right. It was just printed wrong. So if you were looking at your computer, you it was right. Can, can, can I did. I'm just getting yeah. mine. If you want, you don't mind printing. I can print. You want to just hand me your computer? I'll read them off the computer. Right. That's what I'm doing. We well, won't be able to sign them. But that's all right. No, the ones yes, that you yeah. the, these are the right ones. It's just this one printout. I can read them off the print. The ones over here. Oh yeah, you could have printed off the actual ones. Could have done off the ones you signed. Yeah, I got them here now. So. All right, let's hey, do it's a it different again. date. I like this. It's a lot easier. <laughs> okay. Rolling tape. <laughs> Motion to approve warrant number PR 2020-18, dated March 5th, 2020. Payroll in the amount of $597,925. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Motion carries. Okay. Motion to approve warrant number PR 2020-18D, dated March 5th, 2020. Accounts payable in the amount of $107,274.03. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Motion carries. Okay, a motion to approve warrant number AP 2020-19, dated March 13th, 2020. Accounts payable in the amount of $467,611.34. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Motion to approve warrant number APW 2020-14, dated March 13th, 2020, accounts payable in the amount of $262,565. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Thank you. We also have a gift and donation to accept. Okay. Be it resolved that the Central Berkshire Regional School Committee accept a donation in the amount of $50 from Sarah Langendorf for the Central Berkshire Regional School District General Scholarship Fund in memory of Louise Barrett as recommended by the District Treasurer. We have a motion and a second to accept the donation. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Thank you. Okay, we're up to report of the chair. First of all, we're um, requesting that we change the next school committee meeting uh, from April 9th to April 16th because of Passover. So if I have your permission, I'd like to make a motion that be it resolved that the Central Berkshire Regional School Committee approve the change to the following meeting, April 9th, 2020 to April 16th, 2020 at Beckett Washington School. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Um, right now, I don't think it makes much, much difference, but the there is a um, the ground, potentially the groundbreaking ceremony is going to be on that date. I think it was April 16th. At, we're it was 10.30 in the morning. Yeah, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. So. Okay. So, any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Motion carries. Thank you very much for that. Um, annual town meetings. We have them listed here, and um, hopefully they won't change. But I did get something from Desi saying that it could change. Mm -hmm. 
that um, because of the virus that town meetings might be postponed. So we'll wait and see. But those are the tentative dates. And November 2020 school election, um, those whose members whose term will expire, um, I know it sounds crazy because some of you just came on, but Art and Beckett, and in Dalton it's Dick Farley, Dick Lacatel, and Nicole Tucker. In Hinsdale it's uh, Richard, Rich Peters, Washington Mike Case, and Windsor Rick Wagner. And Peru, Bonnie Di Tommaso, that was left off. And, Bonnie's up this year too. Okay, so um, I'm hoping that you're all going to re-up and join us again. Nods. <laughs> okay, we'll talk. <laughs> there is some timing on that too. Is yeah, you have to get petitions out. We have not received anything from the state yet, so once we receive that from the state, we'll share it with those members that are up. But it will also be in our office and the um, the town offices if you know other people that are interested. But we have not received that documentation yet. So before I conclude my portion of this, I would just want to say a few things about Lori and her letter of resignation and, um, well, thank you. <laughs> I just want to say what a positive impact she had on, on the whole district, all the wonderful initi initiatives she brought forward that influenced positive student achievement and family engagement. She was the only principal, oh, only principal, only superintendent to be part of the race task force. Um, she brought multicultural bridge to our district to increase awareness and building capacity for the staff and community. She made essential changes to benefit children. And um, in all of her actions, children were first. And I'll miss your leadership, Lori, in the district and on the school committee. So thanks for all you've done. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, I genuinely, oh, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay, moving forward. Curriculum, we don't have a report. Our next meeting is scheduled for March 26th at 6 p.m. And the topic will be benchmark testing. And Leslie will be the presenter. Finance. Bonnie asked me to do it if you want. Okay, go ahead. Okay, we had a meeting uh, on the 4th, and uh, we basically talked about the budget. Uh, fiscal year final maintenance and operating budget had increased 1.53% over 2020. The fiscal 2021 tentative maintenance and operation budget projected an increase of 1.60 over fiscal year 2020. Fiscal year 2021 final maintenance and operations budget increased $423,095 over fiscal year 2020 for a total of $28,057,941. This budget also includes a prepaid transportation cost, which were due to the fact that transportation rate will be going up next year. The budget reflects staff changes as a result of the middle school vice president principal uh, retirement and the 2021 final maintenance and operation budget reflects an increased overall town assessments of 2.49%, which is lower than the increase to overall town assessments of 2.60%, reflected in the fiscal year 2021 tentative budget. And that was it. Thank you very much. Do you have another meeting scheduled? Yeah, we're, we don't have it actually scheduled, but we're Working kicking on. it down the road and we're thinking the PARS are uh, a district audit uh, will be part of the topics. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, Bonnie. She Policy. Writes well. She writes well, yes. Yeah, we haven't met since last meeting. We do have a meeting tentatively scheduled for um, the 25th of this month. Um, the plan for that meeting is for Dick Locatell to give us some um, information about the regional ingredient. Um, and then we do have some uh, second readings for policies. Um, we went over them at the last meeting, so I'm not going to go over the details. If anyone has any questions, feel free. Um, so approval of second reading revision of policy 1240, Code of Ethics, school committee members. Be it resolved that the Central Berkshire Regional School Committee approve the second reading to policy 1240, Code of Ethics, school committee members, as recommended by the policy subcommittee. 
We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? I'd just like to say thank you for putting that forward. Um, no other comments? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Um, approval of second reading revision of policy 6140, homeless students, enrollment rights and services. Be it resolved that the Central Berkshire Regional School Committee approve the second reading to policy 6140, homeless students, enrollment rights and services, as recommended by the policy subcommittee. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Motion carries. Approval of second reading revision of policy 6141, educational opportunities for children in foster care. Be it resolved that the Central Berkshire Regional School Committee <coughs> approve the second reading to policy 6141, educational opportunities for children in foster care as recommended by the policy subcommittee. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. And finally, approval of second reading revision of policy 6142, educational opportunities for military families. Be it resolved that the Central Berkshire Regional School Committee approve the second reading to policy 6142, educational opportunities for military families, as recommended by the policy subcommittee. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Personnel. Mr. Lacatel is not here, and we haven't had a meeting, so we'll just move on. And there won't be an executive session now. And safety and wellness, we know. Okay, we're going to school project. Okay, um, we actually had a meeting today uh, where we approved uh, the, uh, the architects uh, came and they uh, presented the 90% uh, construction design update to us and we also had to approve some of the, uh, the um, a change to the contracts for, uh, for bar and bar to approve the payment of the, the early work. So it's essentially the precast uh, concrete and the structural steel both those have to be out. They're, those bids are out now. We had to uh, approve the contract to add those to the bids because uh, they're actually uh, putting up the fences starting on Monday. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they're actually coming in a little bit earlier than uh, expected because we have no snow on the ground, so they can do that. So <laughs> that's pretty exciting that starting then. And as I mentioned just a few minutes ago that there's going to be a um, a groundbreaking ceremony where you know we'll, we'll invite you know all the dignitaries you know to come in and they're going to have golden shovels and push some sand around <laughs> on uh, April 16th. So uh, the, the, I think the the school band will play. They're going to have a ceremony and and some and some speeches in the uh, auditorium and then move out and do the ground do the groundbreaking thing. So that's being planned now. Tom and Aaron are doing uh, doing the bulk of the work there of uh, getting that going. So. It's going to be interesting, but it is exciting that uh, actually, I don't know if you went by the school today, but uh, Maximilian, a local contractor, is doing the site work, and uh, they, they, they were awarded that site work contract, and they uh, dropped off a piece of equipment down there today, so there's... Uh, <laughs> it's real. <laughs> it's <moving forward. laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, the, I think the train left the station. There, is, there was a comment about, you know, our timeline is really, really tight, and um, obviously with the COVID-19 situation, um, our owner's project manager mentioned that, um, you know, they're, they, they're, they plan to continue and not, and not do anything, but things are always changing, right? So um, they're, you know, concerned that if we have any kind of serious delay because of this, um, there's a chance we are delayed too far. So it's really touch and go with the schedule that we have. So hopefully um, they're able to continue to work. They plan on continue working. So let's hope that that, that happens. And that's all I got. Thank you. Any, any questions on any of that stuff? I, uh, <laughs> Go ahead. I Berkshire's, they have a newspaper type thing. Mm. They keep talking about uh, Mount Greylock. Recently they spoke about how the pipes broke and the, the mm. offices were flooded and the halls were flooded. Mm. And the insinuation was this was the major thing that happened then. 
If you read down the article, you get to the very bottom, it says, this has happened four times already. So the plumbing apparently needs to be, whoever's contracting it, maybe it was too cheap, I don't know. But, and I find it strange that pipes would just separate. It's always good to benchmark other people's problems. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I just, they're in the neighborhood. We'll so. certainly bring it up and see if, uh, just to mention it. I mean, we have had, like, the elevator situation. Right. Well, and that was <laughs> but, you know, yeah. it's great. I'm glad I haven't heard that. Yeah, and uh, we, we are always learning from uh, the previous projects, you know. I mean, that's, sure. they, they're, and they're talking about that all the time, things that happen at, you know, I mean, a big one right now is you're talking about the, the, the ceremony, right? So Tom reached out to both Mount Greylock and, you know, to try and learn what, what you need to do. So we're doing that all the time, and I know Skanska, you know, has been involved in a lot of these projects locally. So, right. you know, they know that everybody knows <coughs> we well, hear what's going on in these other places, but that's a good one. I hadn't heard that one, so yeah, I'll bring it up. I, I hadn't either until I read it. And I'll, I'll bring it up. Out. Okay, thank, thank you. you. We're ready for the superintendent's report and recommendations. Okay, so most of mine is um, things you can access and look more into um, based on the links. Um, I did send you an email just about the feedback from the Pittsfield visit that Leslie had coordinated, um, which is another just example. We are doing a lot of collaborative work with them, and I think it benefits both districts um, quite a bit. Um, you do have a link to our professional development schedule. Leslie does a phenomenal job of outlining the professional development for the year, aligning it to the standards um, in the teacher at eval rubric, um, and really making sure people have a clear, comprehensive plan with really quality PD. You will see some of the professional development as well related to social emotional learning if you're interested in seeing what we're doing in that area you can look through that um, you do have a link to to my memo where I had, had given them some logistical information um, I do want to um, caveat the next one with we are planning on doing um, community evenings um, at some point this year but we have had to postpone the ones that were scheduled um, due to um, the the concerns going on with the coronavirus um, so that will be rescheduled but at this time they've been postponed um, there is a link about David Dahari's acceptance into the um, NASA program that you can read I do want to um, share um, Gary Campbell, who is our um, who is our high school PE teacher and our football coach, has been hired as the vice principal at Nesikis to replace Joanne when she retires um, next year. So we are super excited about that um, and, and happy to have Gary join the administrative team. Um, I do want to mention, I will. I certainly would be emotional if I said too much, and I'll have, have many of an opportunity to do so, because um, I will be here through through the end of the year. Um, just how grateful I am for the opportunity to have been here these past six years. Um, I will always probably uh, be able to say it was some of the hardest work I've ever done, but I think it was by and large the most important work that I that I will have the opportunity to do, or certainly uh, certainly come come to the top of that list at the end of my career. Um, so you know, just I do just want to say publicly, I'm, I, I, this committee is just become such a high functioning committee with really good intentions but also really positive impact and I know that I I do speak on behalf of our, our administrative team and in our district when I thank you for the time you put in the work you do I I always shake my head when because you're volunteers and you come all the time and you care and you read the material and you know your stuff um, and I'll just end with um, one thing these people here in the audience and next to me um, have not only been my colleagues, they've been my friends. So I'll always think back, I was sitting up in the, um, in the farmhouse that Greg and I call home in my original office, which I did not, I did not feel as affectionate towards as I do my current <laughs> office, uh, was up in one of the bedrooms. And I got a call from a guy who identified himself as the high school vice principal. And he was calling to let me know that if I was ever gonna be successful here, I needed to learn how to spell Wakona. <laughs> I had sent out an email and I had spelled Wakona wrong and he said I'm gonna do you a favor right now <laughs> before you get driven out of town and they have this, this group of people they've looked out for me they've supported me um, personally professionally I think it's, it's pretty unique to say you were a sitting superintendent who had not one not two but uh, three children uh, <laughs> whenever I told Barbara when I told Barbara I was resigning she said I knew it was either that or you were pregnant <laughs> Barbara shit come in with a mental health team <laughs> <laughs> that was the case, um, but um, they have been. I have learned from them uh, continuously, and I hope that I've done half as much for them as they've done for me. So um, I thank all of you, and I, I really do thank the people who I, I spend day to day with as um, as colleagues and friends. So um, we'll continue to do the good work, but I, I thank you. So, thank, yeah. thank you very much. Okay, so at this point, um, any old business. Any new business? Any remarks for the good of the committee? I'd like to say that uh, I, I will miss Lori. 
Uh, it's a big loss, in my opinion. So. Thank you. Thank I you. didn't do enough to get you involved locally to <laughs> b build the community for you here. So unfortunately, that didn't happen. We can hang out now. I'll be, much, I'll be, I'll be way more available. <laughs> we can ski. <laughs> okay. Well, we must. Seeing none, do I have a motion to... Uh, adjourn. Adjourn. I was dismissed. Second. <laughs> second. We have a motion, a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Dismissed. Meeting over.